When you want to quickly share content with colleagues inside or outside your company, you can use shared links. Shared links are designed for short-term sharing, and the recipient doesn't need a Box account to view the link. When Box creates a shared link, it creates a unique URL that gives the recipient access to a specific file or folder. When you use shared links, it shares the most recent version of the file. If you update the file, the link automatically points to the updated file. To create a shared link, hover your cursor over the row of the file you want to share. On the right, click the Copy Shared Link File button. The Shared Link window opens and the link automatically copies to your clipboard. In Box, you have multiple settings to choose from to customize what you share and with whom. With shared links, you can select your access permission levels. Note that your available access permission options depend on your enterprise settings. In this example, at the bottom of the shared link dialog box, you'll see two settings with drop down arrows people in your company and can view and download. Click on people in your company to see your available options. Invited people only is the most restricted option. This setting means only people invited to collaborate on the folder or file can access the content. Collaborators already have access to their content, but this allows you to easily direct others to a specific file or folder using the shared link. Another option is people in your company. This setting means that anyone in your company or people invited into this folder will be able to access the link. Finally, there's people with the link. This is the most open option. It's publicly accessible and no box account is required to view the link. Let's select this option. In this example, to the right of people with the link is the setting that controls what people can do with the link. The default option here is also determined by your company's enterprise settings. Box has three settings here, can view and download, can view only, or can edit. When you create a shared link to a file, you have the option to give others editing permission. If you're sharing a folder, the edit option won't be available. You can also configure the link's security settings. In the shared link dialog box, go to the right of the shared link and click link settings. These settings allow you to control the level of security you want to have for your content. We'll go through all the options here, but note that your available link settings options depend on your enterprise settings. Some of these settings may not be available in your Box account. Also, the link settings options will differ depending on which access permission levels you choose. Here you can set an expiration date that will automatically disable the link on the date you choose. When you select people with the link access permission level, you can also create a password for the link. If you select Non-Private Custom URL, you can publish content with a specific URL you create. Then finally, checking Allow Download allows users with the shared link to download the item. Being able to check this setting also depends on whether your enterprise has this enabled. Now that you've chosen all your settings, you're ready to paste the shared link into an email or a messaging app. When the user clicks on the shared link, they'll be taken directly to the updated file in Box. In the next video, we'll cover viewing and editing your content in Box, or click the support articles to learn more about shared links.